Hey, 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 what's up, world? It's your boy Z Shrimp, everybody, Faith, baby, daddy, the voice of the street, man. And today we in, boop, we in Hollywood, y'all. Now look, Mr. Take That, Take That, yeah, you know, Puff Daddy, P. Diddy, Brother Love, whatever you want to call him. Well, we already know he was in trouble, y'all, because we sent all the police at not one, not two, but three of his houses. That means they raided them houses simultaneously. They coordinated all that shit. You don't do that when you just trying to give a nigga a slap on the wrist. This his day, Joe. It was his day. I heard they already enough locked one of his sons up and grabbed them and listen. They found tapes in the house, but they going through them trying to see how can they use them. See, them the tapes of pleasure right there that they got at the house, so it's probably taking them a little while. Well, CNN has dropped the tape that ain't so much pleasure. It shows Cassidy getting her ass whooped, y'all. Now, I can't really show it to y'all, but I can let y'all listen to what the news said. Exclusively by CNN appears to corroborate some of the allegations of abuse against music mogul Sean Diddy Combs. The video, captured on multiple cameras, shows Combs assaulting his then-girlfriend, Cassie Ventura, in a hallway at a Los Angeles hotel in March 2016. A lawsuit filed by Ventura in November last year and settled the next day referenced actions that seem to match those seen in this video. There is no audio. According to the complaint, Combs became extremely intoxicated and punched Miss Ventura in the face, giving her a black eye, which according to the lawsuit, prompted Ventura to try and leave the hotel room. The surveillance video obtained by CNN begins as she enters the hallway. The complaint says as she exited, Mr. Combs awoke and began screaming at Miss Ventura. He followed her into the hallway of the hotel while yelling at her. The complaint goes on to say he grabbed her and then took glass vases in the hallway and threw them at her. In the surveillance video, Combs can be seen grabbing Ventura and throwing her to the ground. As Ventura lies on the ground, Combs then kicks her twice and attempts to drag her on the floor back to the hotel room. Ventura is seen picking up a hotel phone. Combs seems to walk back to the hotel room, then returns and appears to shove her in a corner. Moments later, he can be seen throwing an object in her direction. According to Ventura's now settled lawsuit, the pair began dating several years after they met in 2005. They parted ways in 2019. Combs' attorney said the decision to settle was in no way an admission of wrongdoing. Ventura declined to comment on the video, but her attorney told CNN the gut-wrenching video has only further confirmed the disturbing and predatory behavior of Mr. Combs. Words cannot express the courage and fortitude that Miss Ventura has shown in coming forward to bring this to light. The video hasn't been seen publicly before and comes on the heels of a series of civil lawsuits alleging Combs' involvement in sex trafficking and sexual abuse. Allegations Combs has repeatedly denied. In a December 2023 statement, Combs responded to the claims in all the lawsuits saying... Okay, well, that's enough, y'all. Well, anyway, if you haven't seen it, it shows Cassidy coming out of room, right? She come out of room, she got a couple of little bags, and she trying to go. Let me explain this to you, ladies. If you sneaking out of the hotel and you trying to get away from your man, don't wait on the elevator. Hit them stairs. And don't go downstairs, go up. Go up a few floors and you could parlay in the hall somewhere for a minute and watch him running around looking at you because he might get out, go to the car or some shit. And you just, hey, if you see somebody, you knock on the door, you get security. Get them up there and then, bam, you get on out of there. Or if he all the way knocked out sleep, then you can hit the steps and run all the way down. But look, check this out though. This is crazy, y'all. See, now they might go and lock him up because now they got footage or something. They can start with this. Now, they, we know they got a lot of other cases and allegations that they have put on this boy, right? 
But this is proof right here. And it's right in the public face. He can't hide it no more. He can't hide it. This here shows a bad situation, y'all. I'm talking about he whooped that bitch all while he was holding his towel. That man, he was buck naked in the bed. And she jumped up and left. And he jumped up naked and grabbed the towel, put it around. I'm surprised he didn't come down there and whoop her ass, buck ass naked. You hear me? Buck ass naked. I'm talking about this nigga. He beat her up and never dropped the damn towel, y'all. Just bitch. Bitch, get up. He throwing shit. Puff got a problem, y'all. Why would you throw a vase at a bitch? You know what? And I guarantee the reason these tapes ain't came out. Because the hotel people said, hey, motherfucker. That was a uh, thousand dollar vase you threw. And we bought ten thousand for your ass. And then you threw two of them. Mm hmm. So that's twenty thousand. Plus another ten thousand. For the keep our mouth shut about this motherfucking tape. Can I get it? No, you can't. But you, I keep it quiet if you got them and just mosey the fuck on out of here and listen. A lot of times people don't be knowing. You done shit. Sometimes people might not even know you. Now everybody know P. Diddy. I'm just saying this. Now the tape then got famous, right? And it's relevant. Now at first it was irrelevant. He beat up a bitch. So what? That's what daddy. She ain't gonna say nothing. Now with all this trouble coming his way, they like, you know what? Now be a good time to show that tape. Mm-hmm. How much you think CNN will give us for it? I don't know, but TMZ got them to get paid you too. And they sold that tape. And guess what? CNN bought it. <laughs> Ain't that something? CNN bought the tape. I know Tim D saying, God damn, man. Why y'all didn't call me? <laughs> Why y'all didn't call me? I done paid double that. You know, that's bad, y'all. Let me say something. One thing about being grown when you really should be you should be able to control your emotions, bro. When you start learning how to do that, ain't nothing can really rattle you. Bitch can't make you mad. They can't make you mad at the job. Motherfuckers in the street can't make you mad because you can control your emotions. Nigga say something stick to you and you say yourself, <laughs> Boy, he lucky I'm working, but I would break his motherfucking neck. But you don't say nothing. You just let that shit pass. Like, look at this goofy-ass nigga right here. You got to be able to control your emotions. That's what be wrong with most women. They cannot control their fucking emotions. And they let them come out at the wrong time. Y'all get into a little argument. Fuck that, goddammit. You cheated with that. Hey, baby, we had a wedding. Come on, pa. I don't give a fuck if we had no motherfucking wedding. That bitch number in your phone now. It's in your phone now. You be like, come on, man. Don't do that, baby. Goddamn, this my sister wedding. Fuck that shit. Your ass ain't gonna never get mad. And you be like, oh. they'll turn up on you at a wedding or something. Then people looking like, damn, bitch, come on. And then for you know, the nigga get up and grab that bitch and drag her the fuck out here. And rough her up a little bit. Next thing you know, 10 minutes, he come police all at the wedding. And you be like, no, this bitch didn't, boy. All oh, hear the sister coming down. And she like, what the fuck? And fucked up her wedding day. And then when he, as life go on, she expect. To be invited to a barbecue, y'all. <laughs> you hear me? We'll be expected to be invited to a barbecue. Now, I wonder what the hell could uh, Cassie have done to make DP Diddy want to just beat her up like that. And just get drunk and just clown. You know, all that got something to do with your ego too, y'all. It got a lot to do with your ego, too. When you got an ego like Puff Daddy, he think he God. That's what uh, Jaguar White say. He think he can get away with everything. Pardon me, brother. He think he can get away with everything. And actually, you can't. 
You know, you got to be held accountable for your own action. Every man needs to be held accountable for his own action. But when you got bodyguards and shit around you, that's cleaning up your shit, <laughs> you tem tempted to shit anywhere. Why? Because somebody else cleaning up your shit anyway. That's why he clowned like that, y'all. Somebody always cleaning up his shit. And when you think about that series, Making the Band, when he had them boys, you know, and the girls trying to make the band group, for him to have them kids walk to get him a cheesecake, y'all. And I mean walk. He told them they couldn't catch the bus or nothing. They had to walk. And they walked, right? Because they could have caught the bus and all that. They did that shit. Come back and this motherfucker was gone, y'all. Was gone. He did that to fuck with their mind. Why, though? That ain't got nothing to do with me being an artist. Me walking to get a motherfucker cheesecake to satisfy your ego and you ain't even here to eat it. Really? I'd have, took, I'd have kept that motherfucker and waited till the next day. I'd have smashed it in his face. I'd be the motherfucker that used to be on making the band. They'd be like, who is that? Oh, the G. That's the nigga smashed the, the cake and pup daddy fake. Yeah, he fucked Puff up until them bodyguards got on his ass. And they fucked him up, but shit, shrimp head, fuck Puff up. Yeah, I would have fucked Puff up, y'all. I don't give a fuck who his bodyguards was. Now, I wait till I got close enough and got a good steal. Boom, boom, bop, and I'd have made him count. A good ass left and a right, he'd have been on the floor. By the time security got up there, y'all, huh, he would have been on the floor. Hit that like button, y'all, and subscribe to the channel. Let me know what y'all think about this shit. Do y'all think it's finally time for P. Diddy to go to jail? Uh-huh. If you ask me, uh-huh. What you waiting on? You raid a motherfucker house, what you waiting on? Normally when they raid a motherfucker house, they be ready to take him to jail. <laughs> what you waiting on? Got my handkerchief, man. <laughs> you know, the G got fly tonight, man. I ain't gonna tell you what I did. I ain't gonna tell y'all what I did. Look at that shit. Bald head. That's that money shot right there, y'all. It's my meme up. So if y'all got the phones and computers that take a picture, get that screenshot right there. And I put the suede hat on. You know, I wish I had my Dobbs. I gotta go shopping for my uh, pimp hats, y'all. Since I'm finna stop back wearing my suits and shit. I gotta go get me a few hats. But this one was suede one. They didn't look too bad with it. I just put it on because I just cut my little bald ass head. You know, and I cut my own hair, y'all. You see? Yeah, I cut my own hair. I don't need nobody to do nothing for me, man. Hit that like button, man. Subscribe to the channel, man. And let me know how y'all feel about this Puff Daddy shit. Me, I really don't give a fuck like that. To be honest, I really don't give a fuck. But if anything, if any nigga need to be railroaded, is this motherfucker. I don't think R. Kelly deserved it. And I think the police need to arrest the people who made that uh, R. Kelly or uh, Surviving R. Kelly series. I think they need to be locked up. Because when you making a video, you can make it how you want it. You can make the heroes and you can make the victims. You hear me? I'm going to say it again. You can make the heroes. And you can make the victims. And you can make the villain. Hmm. I'm going to say that again. You can make the villain. So in this movie. The women were the victims. And R. Kelly was the villain. Now ain't that something. And the chick film in the movie. Act like. Hmm. Oh, all this happened. What? Surviving R. Kelly. What? And, okay, if you thought it was genuine, where the fuck you get all these people from? It ain't like you had one or two and you recorded it. You went and got every motherfucker that he knew from the age of three. 
You even got a three-year-old father saying he touched me when I was in the candy line. Come on, man. Kills was not that bad, if you ask me. All of them get pussy. All of them getting pussy. I wouldn't agree to them fucking no young girls, you know. But we had grown bitches on there talking about it. How you 16 or 17... You go backstage and get fucked, and then you 30 money. Now you want to talk about it. Bitch, please. You grown as hell. Now now you want to talk about it. Why? Because it's on TV. Let me see how much money you got for that. Because I know you got paid. You ain't did it for free. Because you would have had to call off work or something. <laughs> Life goes on. You know, life goes on, man. But anyway, man, I'm doing all right. I'm relaxing, man. People be asking me, what's going on? You all right, General? Yes, sir. I had people call and check on me yesterday, man. I'm like, ain't that cute? People checking on the General. Yes, sir. I'm all right, but I appreciate it. I appreciate it. People got my number. They can do that. So, I really appreciate it. It's your boy G. Shump, everybody, Faith, Baby, Daddy, what's the street? I'm going to plant you now, dig you later. Man. And you know what to do. Go tell a mama. Go tell a friend that what? G. Shump is at it again, man. I'm out.